have that smell down. I think I bought a house. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I here make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for nine and a half years now. In today's video, I'm going to be filming the sale that I had. So I'm going to be making the scrunchies and packaging them up. Um, I had a weekend sale. I think I had a 30% off or something because I hit 100,000, 100,000 people. Wow, on Instagram. There's a lot, there's a few, there's a few people. Gee, I don't even think I could handle like 200 people in a room, let alone 100,000 people in a, in a room that wouldn't even fit in a room. You need like a stadium for that. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> that's a lot of people that are following me. Super stoked for that. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, go check out Instagram. Um, I post all the updates on there. I post heaps of stuff on there, especially if you just check out my stories and also you get all the new content, all the reels there first. YouTube I usually post them like a month later. So I did that. I got a few orders. Um, I don't know if anyone else has noticed like I think I've been I think I've been speaking about this for a few months like how everything's like really and really slow and I'm hoping it's gonna jump back up because I think I bought a house. <laughs> I've signed a contract and I think I bought a house so I'm like freaking out. I was like oh wow. So yeah hopefully we get back up there. Um <laughs> because I'm gonna be so broke now. So it's really exciting. I put my offer in. I went and saw the house. I actually, hang on. Here, okay, it's currently Thursday. I found the house Monday night. I saw it Tuesday. I put an offer in Tuesday. It signed Wednesday and today I paid the deposit. So it's been like less than four days since I saw the house <laughs> and I bought the house. <laughs> but I've been looking for a long time. I've been looking for months and months and nothing has been any good. Like I have put an offer in on one house earlier in the month but they wanted a bit more than I thought it would be worth and I was just like mm, it needs a lot of work done. Whereas this house I can move straight into, knock down a wall and we'll be right. So yeah there's pretty much nothing that needs to be done to this one. I'm The only obstacle I have to jump over now is the building pest and the finance so my broker thinks it will go through but I'm just still I don't know I don't want to get my hopes up until that finance is through once the finance is through like I'm pretty certain that the pest and the building inspection will be fine so yeah as long as, as long as that's all fine I'll, I'll be in a house in eight weeks just after Japan so yeah I've got Japan and I've got Sydney Byron Bay booked well, not Sydney, it's like Byron Bay. Yeah, I, I'm going to be very, very broke because I've got those two. I still have to furnish the house. I still have to buy everything else for the house, like insurances and then also start mortgage repayments. So yeah, I'm going to have like zero dollars to my name very, very soon. <laughs> As, yeah, if it goes through. So it's going to be an exciting time for me, I guess. And I'm very excited because I got this house for... The fact that it is two story so i can have like a sep separate area for the business completely separate i don't know we'll see i don't know i feel like i feel confident about it but we'll see if, it, if it's miss b or b if it's no one to be it won't be it'll be fine but yeah it's a really nice house and i can't wait to show you guys the house tour and everything because i'm pretty excited about it to be out on my own and having a much larger space than what I'm currently in right now. I haven't really spoke about where I am right now. I am living with one of my parents right now, but the space is very, very small. This room is a lot smaller than where I was last year. It is a lot smaller. I can barely fit anything in it. And I've also got one room and like I haven't got other areas. Like I haven't got a cupboard to put stuff in and I haven't got, you know, a second room anymore. Whereas before I had like an extra cupboard and everything else and I had the garage and I had all these other spots to put stuff but yeah in here I don't. <laughs> so yeah I just really needed to yeah find my own place and have some more space because I just feel like I've, I'm stunted 
here because I don't have the room to do things I want to do. And yeah, I have been looking for a long time for a house. I will be excited once everything gets goes through. I'll know in three weeks. So far, contracts are signed and deposits been made. So we'll see. Okay, in other news... Oh, and I haven't spoken about it, but yeah, I am going to Japan next month. So I'm actually going to be in Japan in one month's time, which is like I would have had the house by then if, um, well, if it does go through, I would have had the house by then, but I'll be in Japan. I was, I said I was going to be out of the country, so we had to do a little bit longer settlement date. I definitely won't be buying a couch. You know how expensive couches are? Like, I couldn't believe that when I was like looking. So um, I think most things are going to be secondhand for now and... I don't even need a couch. I don't, and I don't need a TV. I don't watch TV. I don't use a TV. I don't need that. Basic things I need. I'll need a fridge, but my dad said um, he's got heaps of those, so I'm gonna borrow one of them until I yeah get a new one or a secondhand one, like a newer one, and a washing machine, which my mum has a bo like another one of them, so I'll just borrow hers for now. So just like everyone's giving me things just to get me on my feet which is really nice. Most of my stuff will be thrifted or secondhand. I think there's not really much that I'll be buying brand new except like stuff from Kmart like cutlery and like plates and stuff. They're so cheap they're like 75 cents or a dollar or something for that sort of stuff. So I put like everything in my cart the other day and I think I came to $600 to like fully do the kitchen and you know get stuff for the bathrooms and everything. It's very cheap. Oh and a vacuum like they're cheap too there uh because i need one of those and a mop i'm also planning to post twice a week now um i'm hoping by the time this video is posted i'll be already starting to post twice a week so i will be very much caught up i think i've got three vlogs left before this one's posted so this one will probably be posted before i even know about the house so yeah um i'll keep you guys updated when i do find out but it may be posted before I even find out because yeah, if I'm going to be posting twice a week I'm going to be caught up very very soon. I'll be caught up within two weeks. Yeah, I plan to post Mondays. I put up a poll quite a while ago asking what days would be best for you guys like if I was to do a second day and Monday seemed to be the most popular option. I was hoping for maybe Wednesday or Friday but in saying that Friday is like my backup day if I don't have the Thursday one up. Friday actually was the least voted. Monday and Thursday and we'll see how that goes. I think Thursdays I'm going to spend the day editing two videos at once and getting them up and I'll spend the whole day on Thursdays because I want to start getting like double the income from YouTube so then just in case this slows down I'm not stuck with no money. I'm very mindful that we're going into like a bit of a recession here People aren't going to be buying as many scrunchies. Possibly scrunchies are on their way out as well. Like, I expected scrunchies to go two years ago. I didn't expect them to keep going at the rate that they're going. Like, um, as in popularity and stuff. So, we'll see. I am planning on releasing a whole heap of new products too. But I will save that for another video. Because I need to make my vlogs, like, last. <laughs> if I'm going to be posting two a week now. I'm going to get into it because otherwise I'm going to talk for like an hour and not do anything and yeah I need I need stuff done. Oh also there's no power. Yeah we got no power today. Uh, Mum forgot to mention that. <laughs> didn't charge my laptop, didn't you know get stuff ready that I would have if I knew that we weren't going to have power. That's annoying. <laughs> it should come back on in two hours I'm hoping. But yeah for now everything's going to be happening with the natural light and that's it. We're just going to make do with what we got. I'm gonna have to look at my phone for all the orders too because I don't have, I can't print out the packing slips. And yeah, we're just gonna have to get done that way. I don't know if you know this, but a lot of Australia Post, I don't know if it's the ones that are privately owned or if it's the ones that are, whatever the other word is. I think it's like Alpio versus something else, but a lot of them will give out like free stuff like sticker paper for example I get all my sticker paper which comes in fours I get it for free I use the sticker paper to print out my documents like my international shipping labels because they are this size not that size and I just use I just like peel both sides off and stick it on 
Although I saw somewhere that there's like a A4 thermal printer and I was like, oh my god, perfect. Because then I can actually print out labels from Australia Post. Oh, and they also like give you other free things. There's a whole heap of things that they can give you free. But it does depend on the post office, apparently. Some will, some won't. Now, there isn't a lot of stock. I won't lie. This is currently all I've got. So it's not a lot. I have a lot of stuff for markets, but I don't have a lot of stock in the wall. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I've pretty much separated these into online and market only. Market only, online. Um, well, from here up, they're mostly market only as well. So it's like, ooh, all that. I have been taking some of these to the markets, but not much. Well, we're going to get started on this wall. And I have also been writing down after the fact. So I'm going to have a look, for example. So if I don't have one of these items that she's ordered, I'll write it down. Whereas before, I was writing down everything. I know at the start of the year, I said I wanted to have everything in stock. But stuff happened and it's not going to happen until probably midway through the year now. I'll definitely be trying to keep everything in stock. I am going to have like a massive sewing day and try and get more stuff though in stock because I haven't actually restocked the wall much. So it's been a while. Also, thank you so much for everyone that did participate in the sale. I know that most people that ordered are return customers and some of you like are massively return customers. Five plus orders, so much love. Thanks for the support. You guys are what keep me going. I might actually have most of these items that Kate's ordered. Okay, there's only one that I don't have. Oh, and because this video will be posted quite soon, keep an eye out because I'll be having a massive sale just before fi end of financial year after I get back from Japan. Like, it's going to be big. Big, big sale because obviously I need the money <laughs> because I'll be moving out in like a week after I get back from Japan or two weeks. So... Yeah, I'll be having a massive sale, so watch out for that. I've also been keeping a lot of my new stuff over here, this in this corner. I've just been keeping it separate. I probably don't need to, um, given the sheer amount of scrunchies in this wall. Um, but I have been. <laughs> So as it turns out, um, I do not have like most of these in stock, so there's probably no point in filming because I'm literally just sitting here writing stuff down. So yeah, once I finish this, I'll start recording again, but for now. Okay, so this is all I have in stock, which is not much uh, compared to the orders. So here are the orders, and it's also a few on the back. But in saying that, I have a couple in this corner here which are almost made or like semi-made. So I'm going to go through them because I know a lot of them are also in here. Figure that out. But before I do that, you read this? I don't know. My little cousin got it for Christmas. And when I was in Phillip Island the other day, he knows I've been wanting to read it as well. Just see what it's about. 
and she was like oh you have it because I'm already reading because she's a massive reader I don't know I definitely did not read as many books as her when I was her age and it's very impressive yeah she has so many books and she like reads a book a week which is so good I wish I was like that um but I just don't have the time I could do audiobooks I did listen to audiobooks for a little bit there but then I started watching movies instead and probably filling my brain with junk. I probably should start reading books again because, you know, it might help with my vocabulary <laughs> and my pronunciation. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you th if you've read this one or if you want to read it or if you've seen stuff about it. I'll let you know if I ever start reading it and how it goes. You know, books always have that smell about them. Reminds me of, like, high school. That's what it reminds me of. Because I actually read the books in high school unlike half my classmates but anyway all right let's have a look through here oh yeah before i do i'm going to highlight all this and also uh this video is definitely gonna be split into two because this is gonna be a, a very long video i think
the liquid came back on. So I have power now, so I'm going to start sewing. I have a bit to sew. It's not a massive amount, but there is quite a bit there. And as usual, I do two different types of scrunchies. If you knew the channel, I do a OG method, which is the chew method, and I do burrito, which is what all these will be. Um, my tube, I do the wide elastic, which you'll see what I mean by that soon, and my mini scrunchies. And then for the burrito, I do petite, thin elastic, and XLs, or anything that's really chunky. Like velvets and stuff need to be a burrito too, because otherwise it's just really hard to sew over. Anyway, I'm putting on my favorite headphones. They, I still don't know how to say that properly. B O S E, boss. Okay, I've got about an hour and a little bit worth of sewing time before it goes really dark outside, because we're in winter now in Australia, and the sun just goes away really fast. Because this one is thick, I'm just going to do the burrito. I've been watching Modern Family as well. What am I up to? Season 6. What do you guys think of it? I, I don't know. Good uh, background noise. I was thinking of a lot of questions about my lipstick. Uh, I use it obviously for tubes, but I actually have a video on it. If you just type in flipstick Taylor Rose, it will come up on YouTube. Probably will just come up if you type in flipstick, honestly. If you put my name in there, definitely come up. Or just search my channel. It's probably two years old now though, because I filmed it when I was at the farm, which is my dad's house. When I, when I referenced the farm, I that was like one of my first studio tours there.
Hey everyone, so I've just finished sewing all of those and I've just posted my YouTube video. I'm gonna try posting twice a week and see how we go. I'm just going to elastic all the scrunchies before I go to bed. Currently nine o'clock, I think. Will I get them all out tomorrow? I don't know. I mean, there is only 19 orders to pack, so that should only take me like two hours once I get them all done, so I probably could get them all out tomorrow. I have a news article about me now. It's on the Harold Sun, which is pretty cool. I'll link it below, but you do need a subscription to view it. I viewed it because I got it sent to me, like screenshots. But yeah, you can still have a look at the link if you wanted to. It says a little bit of information there. Um, I'll post like a little bit here though. So they pretty much just did a write-up about my 7 News Young Achiever awards. And then just like wrote up, wrote up about me for like a Gippsland, which is where I'm from, success story. <laughs> so it was really cool. I like, have had a Vista print article written about me. But that was more about the products I use rather than about me specifically. Whereas this one's all about me. <laughs> I sound account. <laughs> I sound account. <laughs> just prove my point just then. I kind of sound kind of dumb because the way I speak, like I seem, I say the same words like twice and stuff because I didn't like edit it. It's just word for word what I said and I'm like, my goodness. Yeah, I can't come up with very smart answers on the spot sometimes, especially when I don't know that I don't rehearse anything. And I didn't rehearse for any of those questions because they didn't send me like a list of what they were going to ask. I just sort of came up with everything on the spot. <laughs> it kind of sounded not the greatest. We'll get all this over here and we'll start threading elastic. This is so easy to do the other way. I usually do it at the end of the desk.
morning everyone so i've gotten everything elasticated i still need to make a couple of the key fobs but i don't know i feel like i'm gonna leave that to last and my auntie called me last night because she ordered a few key fobs and she wants some more so i'll be making a couple more for her as well because all her friends at work want one she uses them to like open the till like she has it around her wrist the scrunchy ones like this and like she has the keys like this and then she opens it so she actually gave me the inspiration to like make one of these with a bit more stretchy elastic because that's what she wanted it for so it was good to hear like what people use it for and sort of relate it back to how i can make it better in that sort of way well we'll get straight into it i want to have all these made by lunchtime so then i can start packaging them up by lunchtime i don't know if anyone else is feeling this in australia i like the weather because it's been getting colder and stuff my my face is just so dry just so dry didn't really talk last night but i do glue my elastic and before you scream at the screen and say what what are you doing how does that hold i do sew it but yeah i get that comment a lot from people <laughs> but yeah i do i do sew the elastic I like triple stitch it back and forth like Gee -gee 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 -gee. And I've never had an elastic break. The only time I've ever done it to my, like I've done it myself twice now actually, because I haven't sewn the elastic. <laughs> it's just it's somehow I must have messed up or like it's gone the wrong pile. But I always figure it out before I ship it because I do the test. I like scrunch it out and fluff it out. And if I haven't sewn it, it will snap straight away because it is just glue. It's really just to hold it there because trying to hold this straight while using an industrial machine or any machine for that matter is pretty hard it's um yeah it's very easy to slip also i'm loving these petites the petites are going crazy right now like they've been selling so well if you haven't yet go check out my little petites on on the store i think at the moment i've got them down cheaper because like, i'm having a sale obviously but yeah, they're, they're such a good price because they are really difficult to make. Like, they're a lot more tedious than really any of the other scrunchies I make. And they use almost as much material as a normal scrunchie anyway. They are just so cute. I'm actually thinking about bringing them to markets. So if, if I get everything done today, that will be my end of the day challenge. Is make a heap of petites and bring them to markets. Because currently I have a board right i have a board at the back of my stall here is my stall by the way i have a board the, this board right here and it it's very empty i can't really fill it with anything because like i've tried to fill it with these and the normal ones but i rarely have any any in stock because i sell out so quick so that's also something i need to make tonight if i have time because i have yeah two markets on the weekend and i would really like to have some new stock for them everything else is completely completely in stock because i made double stock i think it was last weekend was it the weekend before it was the weekend before i made double stock and i had I had two markets yeah on the same day and mum unfortunately only made 40 dollars it was barely enough to cover the store fee it definitely wasn't enough to cover like the trip over there like her fuel and time and everything and like you know her coffee so yeah that was pretty disappointing um that was like the worst market i've done for years years and years and years it has been one worse but definitely that one's been the worst in the most recent years where the business has been established and i have had clientele and that was also an indoors market whereas the one i went to i did make 400 dollars 430 dollars i think but that specific market i would usually make closer to 1000 um because it is a festival and yeah i've been going for years I think that's probably the lowest I've ever made there in the year, all the years I've been going. So I've probably been going to that specific one for five years in a row. I think it may have been cancelled during the first COVID lockdown. Maybe. Can't remember. Maybe 2020. But all the rest I've been to. Yeah, that is why I have so much stock. So I've got heaps of thin elastics, heaps of wide. I have heaps of XLs. Actually, the XLs I probably don't have heaps of because... I had a really, really great market last weekend. It was the perfect weather. You couldn't have asked for better weather. Beautiful sunny day. It wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold. And there was no wind at all. There was no wind. 
and we're on the netball courts. There's I think 80 stalls. Everything was different. I had product exclusivity. There's no one else selling. Like there might have been someone selling as a side product. I think there was one person with a tiny little stand. But I mean there was no one that was in direct competition with me. And every single store was different. Like it wasn't anything you have a market usually these days and there's like a candle, candle, hair accessories, scrunchie, scrunchie, sc candle, woodworking, woodworking. <laughs> and it's just all the same stuff every second store. But this one, it was it was really good. It was it was fantastic the way that they chose and curated the market stall holders. I think there was maybe three candles, but in 80 stall holders and they like bunched them out and like they were different type of candles. Like they weren't all, you know, your classic I don't know, just scented candles with no decorative. Like some were some were decorative candles, some were like plain ones with the shapes and molds, and like some were just like the normal fragrance ones. And I made just over a thousand, which is is a really good day for me. I think I've spoken about it before in previous videos, but during like January to I don't know, up until maybe August, my Usual is about $500 at a market. That's how much like I would aim to make and how much like a good day for me will be. I can go up to a thousand during this time period as well, which um, that would be a really good market for me. There has been a couple this year that have been just under like the 450, 400 mark, or there has been a couple that I've just done 250 this year. And that's been Merbu North, which usually Merbu I do seven. So I don't know what's going on in Merbu. I don't know if it's because they're getting bigger with the stall holders and there's more stall holders but the same amount of people so the same amount of people are spending between all the stall holders so stall holders aren't making as much money maybe for example last year i did one there was 30 stall holders but like 4,000 people came through so i i did insanely amazing i had no stock i brought scraps <laughs> of what was left throughout the year. I wasn't even going to go to this market and it was just crazy busy. Like I paid $20 for a stall, was not expecting that sort of turnout at all. I think the food truck sold out within the first hour or two. I know the donut place did. The donut place sold out in the first hour. So yeah, that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. So like the money when there's a smaller amount of stall holders in a location but a lot of people, the money gets like spread out between those people. But if there's, a, if there's a lot of store holders but not as many people, the money doesn't get spread out as far. I hope that makes sense. That's what I've actually figured out in the last, I don't know, probably six months, maybe a little bit longer. I've sort of gone, ah, oh, the Melbourne ones aren't actually as good because there's 300 store holders there. <laughs> and, you know, there's a lot more competition. Whereas my local ones, I can do just as good or better and I don't have to travel as far. That was a little bit of a ramble. Okay, I'm going to sew all those up. I have been using different color thread for the plain colors and certain patterns, but yeah, it's mostly just paint planes that I've been doing it. And I do really need to get these out today or most of these out today.
So there's a lot of greens that have been ordered. Also a lot of pinks and purples. But I've finished making all of them now. I do have a couple at the back there that I still need to make. But I want to try and get everything packaged up. So I'm going to do that. I also have that boat I need to make. But there also might be one in my market box. I mean, it's raining right now, so that's not the best weather. But I've only got two and a half hours to get everything done. So I'm going to end this vlog here. And then start my next one, which is the packaging vlog. So you'll see that. And then very, very soon, if you place an order for this sale, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. All right, well, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Woo! <laughs>